Hello the there, neighborino. Got a little bit of good news for you tonight. Okay, so first off, <clears throat> there is a VR experience brought to you by Modelo and the UFC. That is correct. UFC has a fighting VR challenge slash experience type deal that they are currently working with a few different bars across Nashville, Texas, and the Phoenix areas during big UFC fights. Like the core of this is to test your fighting spirit, blah, blah, blah. Um, like I said, it, it'll only happen in the bars on the nights of big UFC fights, so there won't be a big public rollout of this game. As, as much as I would like there to be one, there isn't. However, in the event you do feel like trying it out, that's when you can find it. UFC Fight Nights between Texas, Phoenix, and Nashville. In this challenge slash experience slash you're about to die moment, you end up facing off against this 6 foot 2, 175 pound dude. Who, who just jumps off the ring ready to beat you into the ground. And this guy, he is, well, he, he is intended to be incredibly, uh, uh, well, I guess offensive, like physically offensive, and obviously intimidating. That's kind of what they wanted to go for. But, as you could probably guess, you could read the full article in the description down below. Next up, we got some game release news. The first one is called Spuds Unearthed, coming to PlayStation VR this fall. Now, this game is already on, on the PC VR, on the Vive and the Rift. So if you guys feel like checking it out, that's where you'll find it. So this game is, it's mostly about shooting down planes and stuff. So the, the core of this game, you're protecting a group of potatoes so they can keep the land that's theirs. Got, got to keep the land, protect the land. Meanwhile, you are going to be sitting back, sitting pretty, in a turret or behind a pair of guns or whatever, and shooting down the planes, like I said before. You'll be designing and building a couple different turrets that you can end up using to shoot down all those planes. The link to that trailer, as well as the original article, you can find in the description down below got a couple other game releases to watch out for first one is called adventure climb VR so have you ever felt like climbing up the side of a side of a rock wall but didn't didn't really feel like falling down and breaking your neck and dying well like then good news adventure climb is for you this one just came out on Tuesday for the Vive and the Rift. This one has a little bit more mobility than you would find in a couple other VR titles of note. As it is going to use your entire body to move rather than just a, a couple. I take that back. I take that back. You'll just be using your hands, unfortunately. But the 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 nice thing about this one is that it is free. And like I said, came out on Tuesday. Next one is Millionaire Dancer. So, do you kind of feel like dancing to a beat, but you don't really feel like you're you're a little you're, you're a little self-conscious about the way you're moving or the way you look when you're dancing. 
Well then, good news! This one is for you. So, this one is currently available on the Vive, the Rift, and Windows Mixed Reality. So, if you feel like, like getting the groove on, this just might be the thing for you. However, like Beat Saber, you'll be moving to a pre-specified beat. So, you'll, you'll be trying to break some boxes with all your dances. So, this one also came out on Tuesday. And you can find it either for $9 or $10. Next up, you got Power Beats VR. This one also, it's quite good. Just came out yesterday on the 18th. So this one is slightly different to to Beat Saber. However, it's also kind of the same. Because you'll be using, rather than using a pair of swords, you'll be using your fists. You can punch those blocks. You gotta punch those blocks. You gotta dodge some obstacles. You gotta dodge. You gotta avoid being hit by a block and getting knocked off and falling to your death. Sounds amazing, right? So yeah, like I said, that one you can find on the Vibe, the Rift, Windows Mixed Reality. And that punching game, Power Beats VR, you can find for anywhere from $16 to $20. Next up we have Don't Look Down. Um, so if you feel like climbing up the side of a tower, but the being scared of heights doesn't quite do it for you, you can also add a little bit more danger to the mix. You can, uh, you can try to avoid scary robots. Who doesn't like robots? I don't like robots. Well, kind of like robots. But that's beside the point. So, in the event that you feel like climbing, but falling to your death isn't quite enough, you can get this game on the Vive and the Rift for either $20 or $25 just came out yesterday on the 18th so yeah go ahead and check that game out <coughs> and next up we have roach killer um in case you didn't already figure it out you kind of do what the what the title says kill some roaches the, one of the very few creatures on earth that could survive nuclear winter Ever just because just because you're killing roaches doesn't mean you can't get a good workout. So be sure to stamp them, smash them with your shoes, punch them, and don't forget that bug spray because you'll definitely need a ton of it. And this one came out on Monday the 15th on the Vive for six dollars. So all these games you can find in the links down below. And I believe this is a good place to end the video. So if you guys liked it, let me know. If you hated it, let me know. And as always, don't forget to tell me how I'm a horrible person for giving you all this news. Ta-ta for now.